Well, I thought we would do an update talking about the best UK growth stock out there. And I've had a lot of questions because it's been on a good run, where my thoughts are, where's my head at thinking about this company and my plan really going forward with this stock. So uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the best, in my opinion, the best UK growth company out there. And if you did buy shares in this company at the start of the year, you're probably laughing and you've got some really nice gains on them shares. So well done. And um, yeah, my opinions on my biggest holding in the UK scene as well. Um, yeah, you know, it's my biggest holding. It means a lot to me and um, to see it performing this well is really good. So we're going to go back. We're going to do a little bit of time hop back to when I actually started talking about this company which is S4 Capital and I put this video out on March the 21st 21 and it was titled the best UK growth stock and um, yeah you can see here that it was valued at £4.50 back then and it was a company that I was just buying heavy 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 every single day and uh, you guys on the Patreon you know you guys would have known that the amount of buying buy and sell alerts that I put out there the amount of times I was saying I buy more S4 capital buying more and uh, yeah it got to my biggest holding and um, if we look at the company now from £4.50 we're up to £7.05 and pence, which has been very good and if we kind of just go back to uh, the date which was the 21st of March if we can just go back to the 21st of March here oh it's, it was on a weekend so we'll go for the 22nd we're up about 48% in fact I'm actually up um, 50, about 50% on this company right now. So yeah, um, I'm, I'm up 50%, uh, which is a really good return to be, you know, in under six months to have that return is very good. And I'm sure if any of you guys kind of uh, bought that company as well, I'm sure you guys have some really good returns on the company. In fact, if you even bought it a little bit earlier than me, um, you probably even have better returns than me. Uh, so that's such absolutely super. But yeah, I thought like, because it's been on such a good run, because we're up 50% in under six months, it's about time we do an update. And because it's my my biggest UK holding is definitely worth a little bit of an update where I'm at with this company in general. So just from a share price point of view that it has been on such a good run, you know, we are we are up 50% in six months and this kind of leads me to kind of my, my first point of view which is first of all beating the market. You know, I put a video out um, and you can tell you still have to think about this video. I put a video out about um, one month ago now talking about how to scale up a stock market portfolio to 100k and on that video I put basically you know adding in free income is the very key thing to kind of scale to scale up your portfolio and as well as that is getting 10% return a year now on that video I had quite a few comments that were saying oh it's very hard to get a 10% return a year and I was like no 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 if you do if you're doing individual investing to get a 10% return a year is something you want to be doing. Ideally, you want to be getting more than that because that is the average return historically of the stock market. So if you want to get a higher return than 10%, doing individual stock picking, that should be your aim. Otherwise, you might as well go put it in an index fund and not bother with putting in the research, researching companies, keeping up to them. There's no point doing it. So first of all, I want to just kind of make that point very clear is that when you do individual stock picking, um, you know, getting 20, 30% return a year is what your aim should be. And the, the thing is, when you do individual stock picking, the more you do it, the better you will get at it. Every year, you will get better and better as an investor. And even right now, you know, me as an investor in 2021, I know when I get to 2025, I'm going to be a better investor than what I am right now. And that's part of the game is that that's the great thing is that the more you do it, the more you research companies, the more you buy companies, every time you look and you see the outcome of a company, you will see something slightly different and that will help you with experience further down the line. So just popping back to that first thing, that um, a video that I made a few months ago was about talking about getting a 10% return a year. And people said it's really hard to do. Here's a prime example, you know, my biggest hole in the UK, you know, I get asked so often, how do I historically outperform the market every single year? Is by buying companies like this, you know, buying a company that um, I saw here on a bit of a dip, thought it was a great company, buy it, we're up 50% on the company. And, you know, that's what your average return is in half a year, five times it. You know, that's that's just uh, how you can do things in the stock market. And I guess another point as well is like backing your best ideas. Um, I think Peter Lynch says something very similar about backing your best ideas. And um, you know, I saw this company, I thought it was a great company. And then uh, what did I get when I started buying this company? A dip, you know, I got the dip and I was able to buy it, get my average down. And that was what helped me, you know, really get quite high up on, on the share price and get really good returns. I looked at this company and thought, you know, rather than also looking at, you know, when I bought this company, I thought, you know, this is an easy 10 pound stock and I think it could even be more than that further down the line. But um, when I looked at this company, I thought, you know, when you look at the growth, the balance sheet, the profit, the revenue growth, um, the management team that are there, 
the, the growing sector that's in, I thought, you know, what is the limited downside here? Never mind what's the company potentially going to go up to, but what's my risk of losing money on this one as well? And that's the other thing. And, you know, I thought this is, you know, like I said, the best, as, as you can see, if we pop back to this video here in March time, you know, the title, the best UK growth stock, you know, I thought this was the best company. So when I see the best UK growth stock out there, I'm going to back it. And that's why it was my biggest position, as you guys have seen historically in the portfolio reviews. I, when I see the best companies, the best companies that I can make money on, back them companies the most. You know, the companies you see most upside, back them. And this is what I've done with Best for Capital. It's the, what I saw the best UK growth stock, and it came my biggest position, and uh, the returns are coming in. And I am going to say from like a, a short-term point of view, let's not forget this. It, you know, if someone offered me 50% return at the start of the year on this company, I would have took it. You know, this is this is a very very good return, and I don't think it can carry up this on for the rest of the year for sure. This is a, a crazy run. Um, you know, I was happy to kind of get a 30% return this year, so a 50% return so far is really good. Probably too good. So with the share price going like this, um, it would be very good for it to just have a bit of a cooling phase, uh, a phase, and just let the valuation catch up to it a little bit more. Um, so from a point of view, is like where I see the company going for the rest of the year. It could go up. It could go down. Ideally, what I would like to see is just kind of just chill a little bit now and just let that valuation catch up. It's been a very good company. It's had a very good return this year. You know, 50% return in uh, six months is is brilliant and uh, I'm really happy with it. But realistically, where do I see the company going? It's just have a little bit of a chill time. You know, stocks just can't keep going up. Um, you know, it might prove me wrong. It might do an in mode. It might carry on going up. But ideally, a little bit of chill time. 50% return this year. I'm happy and I'll take that. Um, so that's what I'll say from that. I guess when it also comes down to profit taking, what my, what is my thoughts on profit taking? Well, you guys uh, might remember a video a while ago, and you guys on the Patreon might remember is that I did take ten percent profit on this one. Do I have any more plans to sell anymore? No. Um, I I my I just want to take some profit on the table, go to a new company, and let the other part of the company now ride up uh, and get some more share price. Where will I next see myself selling the company? Um. I won't sell any more shares this year. The probably next time I would actually sell some shares is probably next year. Once again, I'd probably look at a 10% trim next year um, if the share price is still doing very well. Where do I still sell, see myself actually completely selling out of this position? Um, still, I'm still two to five years off. My biggest thing is Martin Sorrell. I think he's like the the um, the main reason why I kind of invested into this company. So when I kind of see a point of view where he might step away, which I think he will step away, when the company comes a something between a 10 to 15 billion market cap company that's personally when i see him stepping away which will be about in my opinion about three or four years time so that's probably where i would see um myself selling when there's a management change on this company and like say i think that's still a few years off at the moment and that's the big thing that i've always uh, gone by now the, the other thing as well with selling this company is like if I was to sell this company, you know, just look at this company, you know, it has major revenue growth. This company's growing huge amounts, you know, over 50% a year. The big thing as well that people aren't realizing is what's going to happen in the next few years is profit growth is going to come in. So when profit growth happens and revenue growth happens, um, that's going to attract even more investors. You know, the thing about this company is it is, it is unprofitable, but it's not, it's not losing a huge amount. You know, it's probably going to, in my opinion, I think we're going to see a little bit of profit this year. Um, so that's going to be another thing um, and what's that you know the likes of like Shopify the likes of Square them sort of growth companies that when you put in major growth what um, S4 Capital is doing you see it right now the share price carries on going up at a good amount and then the next step up is when these sort of companies start bringing profit in the share price goes up a huge amount once again and yeah I think this could I, I would like to say that I think it could be a 5x return in the longer term um, you never know it could be a 10 bagger we'll see what happens but I, I still think there's a lot of upside here especially when you're growing at this sort of rate and then I think you're going to have the profit growth coming in uh, balance sheet wise um, it's still very healthy on the balance sheet um, and they're probably going to do a few more acquisitions this year as well uh, which is super and you only have to look at the recent news as well is like you look at um, the, the 5th of May and what they did is the raise guidance and then what happened again um, a few weeks ago, um, if I can find where this was posted, um, Monday the 19th of July, not even a few weeks ago, um, this week I think, um, yeah you can see here, um, once again upgrading profit and uh, you know once again saying that we're going to have an unbelievable year and honestly um, it's it, it's a great company, it's a really really great company. It's 
it's a company which at no point at this situation I'm thinking about selling. I still think you know this is a long-term investment and even though it's had a very good few months, it's still gonna be a long, long-term investment and I feel, still think there's a lot of upside where this guy is here uh, running this company and I think, they, like I said, I, I think that it will get to a 10 billion valuation at some point uh, and we'll wait for that to happen. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this little mini update in S4 Capital. I've had a lot of you guys message me about um, how good it's performing, where I'm at with it, what my plans are. So hopefully that kind of clears it up. And yeah, um, you know, one, one the big thing is like if I was to sell out of S4 Capital, you know, where where am I going to put the money? Um, I, I don't see another opportunity out there in the UK scene right now for a, a company that is uh, as good as this company growing as fast as this company as well and that's also something that I'm considering and yeah um it's still I'm still going to keep my money there and um yeah I still I do think the share price has probably gone up a little bit too much and we should have a bit of a cooling phase but um yeah if someone offered me a 50 percent return at uh, this company uh, back at the start of the year in six months I would have took it and uh, congratulations to any of you guys that s4 capital shareholders as well um I'm sure you guys have uh, some good returns uh, on this company as well and let me know uh, how you guys are doing this one but as always hope it was useful for you guys that wanted an S4 Capital update um, and yeah I'm not sure what video I'm going to do next you know throw a few video ideas at me but um, yeah hope it was useful um, if you're new subscribe uh, if you do want to invest in some links to some brokers in the description um, like free trade you join through there you get free share as well but yeah hope it was useful and I'll uh, see you on the next video and have a good weekend